this one hard. I am quilting like a motherfucker. I mean, can't stop. It's like an obsession. Something wants me to make this one. But this is, this is not a dark quilt. Makes me think I'm at a turning point of some kind. Um, the theme of a turning point has really been going through my life, and at every turn, somebody saying the word turning point, or I'll see it on TV, turning point. My manager asks me, when, "When is your turning point?" <laughs> well, I'm at my turning point. And this quilt still has a lot of blue. I can't stop making quilts with blue. And someone gave me this CD. My lover gave me this CD. And um, it's full of new age music and pagan stuff, lots of Lots of references to Inanna <laughs> and the goddess. And I tell you what, it has really, really awoken some things that I had buried deep in my soul. Yeah. But the point of this video, I want, I want to talk about the spiritual weapons, tools. Now, you all know me. I am not a warfare kind of person. And when it, when it comes to that, you know, I think you can get a lot through making love and not war. That's just how I have always been. But the thing is, these are my spiritual weapons. These needles. These needles, and this thread, and this fabric. They're, they're, they're my, not my weapons, they're my tools, my spiritual tools. Because I use them that way. These are like little wands, or... I don't know, I put so much energy into these things. When I hold them, I feel warmth. I get a chill on my back of my neck when I'm doing this kind of stuff. And um, it's very magical and a spiritual experience for me. And, and I often laugh at myself, oh shit. I am a 30-year-old man quilting in my apartment. <laughs> but the things that I've made are like, they're like vehicles. They, they take me like a painting to another place. And um, I enjoy that. And these are helping me get further out into the astral world, the astral plane. Beyond that, even, they're getting me in touch with some buried aspects of my personality and psychological makeup, um, deep things, deep things that are going back, and also some, some things that are from the light. I'm a dark person of late, and these quilts have been taking me through the darkness, through the shadows. They've also been taking me through the light, through the spectrums of light. And I just wanted to say something about that, acknowledge it. And this is the quilt right now. I don't know if you can see it. But it's not very colorful. It's very light and dark. 
not dark, just light. So, I don't know what the purpose of this quilt is other than other than to suck in dark energy <laughs> like a vacuum. <laughs> That's what this quilt is doing for me. It is taking, it's like wrapping dark in energy. Taking it, there are little vortexes here. I don't know if you can see it. They're miniature vortexes, energy vortexes that I've quilted. You see that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the corner. It's about as good as I can do. There it is. Look at how that fabric... This quilt is made from old business shirts. All of my boyfriend's business shirts he gave me. And I have quilted them into a blanket. And, you know, it's true. This pattern... This pattern right here... When you stare at it for a long time, it'll make you sick. <laughs> it's really, it really makes you dizzy. But that's what it's doing. These little, these little things, they are really just working hard at sucking in, sucking in crazy energy. Sure are. I'm happy about that. That's what I'm doing with magic right now. I'm putting it into fabric. It's like a book of shadows, it's just on cloth, and in my own language. Now you know what words I'm speaking.